TV taught me how to dream. It was a life jacket. I don't think you can be an artist and not touch people. I think it's safe to say that not only did your quarterback take the league by storm, but took the world by storm. What, is the, what has it been like working with him and, and developing the chemistry you guys have to make you one of the top duos in the league now? Oh, man. it's uh, One has been fun, man. Like, as soon as he uh, walked in the locker room, uh, you could tell that he had, uh, you know, he had the charisma. He had the the ability to, to relate to everybody. Um, he's, he's not a shy dude, but at the same time, uh, he's very... Um, He's very open with who he is. You know, he's not gonna he's not gonna shy away from anybody or or or, uh, or keep to himself. You know what I mean? He's here for the moment and he's here to have fun. And uh, but at the same time, his his professionalism took over when once once we were out there on the field and in the classroom or in the work or, or in the uh, in the offices and stuff. Um, and from that point on, man, you knew it was it was gonna be a. a we were going to have some fun, but at the same time, the way he slings it, man, I'm going to have to figure out exactly uh, what, what he's thinking. So, so this entire time, I've just been, you know, trying to get to know him on the field so that uh, I can be in the right places at the right time. And, uh, and that's basically my job is to paint a picture for him, for the quarterback. And, mm -hmm. uh, and as much, as, and as, as, much as, uh, as much chemistry as I can build with that guy, I'm trying to get into his mind so that I can make his job easier, which in, in the grand scheme of things will make the game easier for our team. Y'all done that fast. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun. That's why. That's why. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, it holds true in basketball. You know, one of the closest teams I was on was with the team with Jack in 2007 with that We Believe team. And we were a team that kicked it on and off the court. Obviously, with circumstances different now with COVID, do you get a chance to really hang with someone like him or <laughs> some of your other receiving mates uh, to, to really kind of get that off the field vibe as well? I wish. I wish it was that easy, man. We've um, we've had some times where we just hung out um you know, especially before the season, a little bit during training camp and stuff like that. But because of the because of COVID and the situation, the NFL has actually clamped down on uh, on us being able to hang around each other. Because if one guy gets it, That's they crazy. you know what I mean. They they don't want uh, a lot of us around each other for a long period of time. So they actually told us that we couldn't hang outside of the building with three or more uh, teammates. <laughs> so it's like they they're really yeah. putting us in a little mini bubble uh, in our own right. cities. But uh, I mean, we're making it work. It, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, you what you got to do yeah. is you got to enjoy, you know, on road trips, you got to enjoy the plane rides, stuff like that. Uh, the bus rides to and from the game, the the evenings that you have, you know, in the hotel before the game, you know, you try and, you know, catch catch a game or uh, enjoy a few conversations at dinner, you know, things like that to, to keep the mood light, you know, because whenever you're at work, it's it's all work. You're, right. you're focused on the task at hand. You're focused right. on trying to get the game plan right and things like that. Um it can it, it can get you know a little bit too routine in the building, so uh, making sure that you know you keep it light and and have some fun throughout it all, uh, knowing that most of the guys are just going to the facility and back home every single day. What's it like being the hunted now? Obviously, Super Bowl champs. You had a tough loss in 2018 to the Patriots in the AFC Championship. Come back and beat my motherfucking Niners. Like I said, I fuck with you, but it hurt my heart that you took it from my Niners. What's what what's it like from going from the hunted? Excuse like me, a thief going, in the going. night. Yeah, I pull up and give her. Yeah, that's what it is. But nah, what, man, what's it, the, the what, what's it like a being the hunter? Team, yeah. It was a that was a battle, man. That was my team, and uh, you know, you guys did your thing. You know, you guys have a you guys had a knack for coming back. That's your guys' mo, and you guys did that, and you handled business. But what is what is it like now? being the team that, that has a target on your back every single night, knowing that, hey, shit, this team's only won one or two games in the division, but they know they're playing us. You know, I got a chance to play on a Warrior team that was like that. No matter who we played, every night we got their best effort. What is it like now having to carry that target on your back? Um, to be honest, I, I, don't, I don't feel too much of the pressure of, uh, of living up to being a Super Bowl champion like at, in that respect. I feel like, it, if anything, the Super Bowl just gave us confidence that, yeah, this is us. Mm -hmm. This is who we are. This is what we do. Um, I thought the loss to... The, the way we lost to New England, everybody knew we were, we were going to be a good football team. Everybody knew that they had to bring their A game to beat us um, because we were one play away from being in a Super Bowl. And um, I think... 
you know, as 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 the season goes on, um, you get more focused on on the little things, and you try and you know perfect the the, the weaknesses and and and, and strengthen uh, everything that you're doing positively in the game. And it's just uh, it's a nonstop battle to better yourself. Mm-hmm. So you just have to have that mentality and know that you know this is this is this is what we do. Is I go out here and I play football, and uh, and I play to with with these guys next to me to to a level that you know. I feel like we have the advantage, mm-hmm. and, uh, and and that's just the mentality that you have to have going into a game. How's it been adding Le'Veon Bell to the fold? Oh man, it's a. It's, <laughs> I don't know how our GM know, keeps that's... pulling a rabbit out the that's hat, crazy. man, and just <laughs> and just making crazy. stuff happen, man. But uh, Lev Bell has been unbelievable since he's been in the building, man. You want to talk about? Uh, being kind of stuck in the routine of things. And uh, I'm not saying I mean, it's still early in the year and everything, but you can get caught up in just coming into work and, and seeing the same faces. When he came in, and it, it's just a different jolt of energy. He came mm-hmm. in ready to work, ready to ready to figure out this offense so that he can make an impact right away um, because mm-hmm. he, he, he's excited to be in a winning football or or, uh, or at least a program that, you know what I mean, can uh, exploit no, you said his, it right. his success. You, you said it, it is right. what it is. No, you said it right. <laughs> winning, you said it right. Right, winning football. I mean, that should you got to think he's extra fresh too. You know, with an injury, uh, injury plague season, and then not really playing that much. To me, he probably has some some to prove to himself and to everyone else. Like, you know, don't forget that I was the best running back in this league oh, yeah. before I went to before I went to the Jets. You know what I mean? So, you no, know, you said it absolutely right. I think that kind of, you know, that's like going to the Spurs or going to the Warriors or going to the Lakers when you, uh, you know, when you have a chance to go from the from the gutter to the penthouse, you want to raise your focus, the, the level mm-hmm. of your game, everything you possibly can because, you know, you want to be a small part of something great. And I think it's a unique opportunity for him to be who he is and be able to, like you said, come to a team like your guys. That shit is crazy. Oh, uh, man, it's just just up the ante, man. Just take it to a whole nother level. And uh, I was talking about his energy, and you could see in the first walkthrough how he's jumping around, and he's got almost what looks like fresh legs. I don't know how much he was running over there in New York, but it looks like he's got fresh legs, like he like he's a young dude all over again and just ready to get after it. And it, I mean, that kind of energy is infectious. You know what I mean? When you see a guy with high energy, man, you want to play to that level, and you want to meet that level And because because um, it is what it is. When, you, when you're playing one of the best teams in the National Football league and you see that they're ready you see that energy pre-game you see the them coming off the ball early in the game you know it's going to be a dog fight and a lot of guys uh, get a little uncomfortable in that dog fight when they see that other team is mm. going to bring it and it, and, mm. and, and and it's the top dog with it so it's just a mm-hmm. it's, it's a mentality to just bring it every single day and, and have that have that grit have that dog in you uh to go get it man i think mm-hmm. as an athlete there's no better feeling than knowing you got Guys, or how many of your teammates you have, that taking it serious. You know, you you got you mm-hmm. got you you got guys that come out here and ready to do the job. Everybody on the same page. Everybody have the same goal to win. And when you get on a team like that, when I went to the Spurs, the feeling of winning, the feeling of the feeling of everybody taking their role serious and all having the same common goal to win a championship. That is contagious, bro. And I and I know he feel that oh, walking yeah. in that locker room. Mm-hmm. It's, like you said, it's contagious, man. It's contagious, and when and when you and when it really means something to you, that's when you can take it to a new level, man. Mm-hmm. And it means something to him right now. You can see in the way he works.